Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm very excited to be back in Singapore. Today I am taking you on a little India, Indian food tour in Singapore. We're gonna eat chapatis and then we're gonna eat a whole banana leaf spread. So lots of delicious food coming up in this video and I'm excited to share it all with you right now. So great to be back in Singapore and there is no doubt that Singapore has some unbelievable Indian food. And so we're starting right in the heart of Little India on Saragun Road. We are walking on our way to the first place and this is a place that I have been looking forward to eating for a long time. We're going there now. Welcome to Azmi Chapati. And they're making the chapatis fresh at the front. They have a variety of side dishes and curries that you eat along with the chapatis. This is just the culture of Singapore that I love so much. These neighborhood cafes sprawled out onto the sidewalks. Ah, the patios, the open air, the delicious food. So here at the front, they're just constantly making the fresh chapatis. And I love, I mean, so you're guaranteed hot, fresh chapatis. And one of the things I love about chapatis, it is a dry bread. So it's not fried in oil, so it's not that heavy, it's not greasy, and you really get the smokiness of the griddle embedded into each chapati. Oh, it smells so good. So you get the chapati here and then you can choose your dishes from the other side that are all pre-cooked already. Can I have three chapatis, please? For here, for here, yes. Oh man, it smells so good. And then you choose from over here. Definitely the kima. Kima, please. How about the um, lady fingers, yeah? Lady fingers. Oh yeah, chickpeas, please. Chicken fry, one piece. <laughs> okay, okay that's all. Thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, wow. This is a breakfast of champions in Singapore, Little India. Without a doubt, this is a place that I have been looking, I've, it's been on my list of places to eat in Singapore, so finally, so excited to be here. And it looks just, as good as I had imagined, and I'm sure it tastes as good as I had imagined. But again, the fresh chapatis, that is absolutely key. Their kima is, which is like a minced meat blend of spices and oily juices and meat juice. That's one of their signature dishes. I think that combination, but then they have such a variety of dishes actually. A bunch of vegetable dishes, chicken curries. They have the chickpeas and their chicken fry looked absolutely irresistible, so I had to get it too. Normally I've seen kima that's just pure meat, but this one looks like it has chunks of potatoes, chickpeas, and peas inside, so it's not only meat. Oh, nice. Okay, so here we go. The hot, fresh chapatis just cooked to perfection. And I'm gonna scoop in first for that kima, that combination that they are world famous for, the kima and chapati. Oh yeah. 
Oh man, that smells incredible. Here we go to begin this little India food tour in Singapore. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, again, what I love about chapatis is that they're, they're dry fried, so they're not greasy, not oily, but just that smokiness from the griddle. And then that kima, oh man, it has an incredible meatiness to it. It tastes like mutton. I'm not totally sure, but you can definitely taste that meatiness. It's not too oily. It's flavorful. The potato melts in your mouth. The peas have a little starchiness to them. That is what you want to be starting your day off with. Okay, I'm going to go in for the, the chickpeas next. These are huge and saucy. Mm. Oh, wow. That is rich. Oh, man. Those chickpeas are so soft. They melt in your mouth. I'll go for that chicken fry next. So I think it is. Yeah, it does look crispy. It looks like it's been fried rather than grilled. I just couldn't resist it. Mm. Mm. Like just a light spice blend, which has just been crusted onto the chicken. And mm. yeah, not too strong of a flavor, not too many spices, but just good. Okay, next up for the, the okra. Mm. Mm. I love okra. I love that kind of slimy texture. And then the last dish that I got is the chicken curry. Um, that sauce looks absolutely fantastic. And again, again, go in for chapati. Maybe kind of like, I'll kind of pinch off some of that chicken. And I'll load it up with some more of that curry sauce. Mm. Mm. Wonderful too. Kind of a mellow blend of spices, but just like a harmony. And it is all good. But definitely, I think their signature kima and also the, the chickpeas. Those are probably the two standout dishes, dishes that I would not miss coming here to eat along with the chapati. But really, you cannot make a bad decision here. Everything you see is gonna be top of the notch, delicious, outstanding, an amazing place, friendly, on the corner. People come here to hang out, to enjoy delicious food. To me, this is, uh, I mean, this is what I love about Singapore so much. Moving back over for that, some more of that kima. Mm. Mm. The meatiness of that kima. Oh, what a combination. That is energy. You want to drink anything? How about you? Oh. I mean, uh, just a small token on it. Yeah, you want something you want to drink? Anything? Thank you very much. Just a tea. Just tea uh, uh, with milk? Black tea or milk tea? Black tea will be great, yes. Black tea for both of you. Yes, sugar please. Or no sugar? No also, sugar. No sugar for two. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Mm. And the chickpeas might be my favorite dish, though. The chickpeas here are just on another level. Creamy, rich, and just melt in your mouth. Mm. Oh, and that blend of spices. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the tea. What's your What's your name? Yeah. What was your name again? My name. Oh, you want to report? Yeah. Adi. Adi. Yeah, I'm not from here as well. Oh, where are you from? I'm from this country. Ah, Malaysia. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I mean, I've seen your videos so many, but it's good. Oh man, we met so many amazing, nice people just sitting here. And he bought us a tea. We, we, I had forgot to buy any drinks. He bought us a tea. Thank you for the tea. Oh yeah. 
Whew, fantastic way to get started this little India food tour. We are moving on to go explore more and more food coming up. Just love the action, the energy, the aromas, the colors of Little India. Next up on this food tour of Little India, we are going to Tekka Center, which is a hawker food center right in Little India. Of course, there's restaurants all around, but this is one of the main hawker centers. And there's this one thing that I want to try to find that we're going to eat next. Welcome to Tekka Center. It is absolutely packed. I have been here the last time I was in Singapore, an amazing hawker center. Today is just absolutely packed amazing what an environment there's so many things to choose from there's so much delicious food the aromas no still walking walking around wandering around this place i mean i remember it was incredible but this place is absolutely insane there's so much good food there's such a diversity i mean that represents singapore and the diversity of food available so much of a variety of Indian food and then a whole Chinese section of the market as well. Truly an amazing representation of the delicious food available in Singapore and the love for eating. And I'm still walking around looking for the place we're trying to find. Man, okay, some bad, some sad news. I had wanted to try out this place called Ajmer, Ajmer Sherif for their Mi Goreng, Mamak style. But unfortunately, they're closed. No open hours, so we'll have to find something else. And believe me, there are a lot of other choices. Man, just walking around this food center, just everything just makes your mouth water, just arouses your senses and your taste buds. So we're just gonna find something else to eat while we're here. <laughs> got my tray of masala dosa but man it's it's pretty hectic you got to be aggressive you got to get in line you got to make your way to the front you got to tell them your order uh, and then on top of that you have to find a seat but definitely today is the weekend so it is probably busier than on a weekday but man i love the atmosphere love the just busyness and just the variety available here such a cool place really the center of indian culture for food in singapore so i got a masala dosa so there should be some potatoes in the center and with a sambar on the side and with a, like a coconut chutney all right let's start with that sambar oh ho, ho. fresh off the grill oh that's hot wow I love how it's served to you on a tray. Again, this is food court, hawker center, classic Singapore style. Mm. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Crispy and gooey and bubbly, but dense at the same time. You taste the mustard seed, the tartness of the tomato. And I love how they just pile that sambar directly onto your dosa so it just kind of absorbs, soaks everything up and you can kind of mix and match. very good simple and I don't think there's any better representation of Tamil Nadu and especially the Tamil culture that's very strong that has a long history in Singapore I mean for me there's no greater way to experience the Tamil Nadu culture than through food and a dosa like this is just one of the pure representations of Tamil Nadu okay let's go in for that uh, that coconut Mmm. Oh. It's a little bit different from what I've had. 
it has almost more of a like a smoky flavor to it. I love the mustard seed, the fenugreek, and the, the fennel in there. Shifa Drinks Corner. Oh yes. Hello guys, nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I see your mini videos on Thailand also, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that fresh sugar cane juice. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the YouTube soon. Yes. <laughs> yes, please, I'll have a sugar cane juice. Okay. Wow, nice. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you very nice much. To nice to meet you oh, also. Thank you, thank you. A fresh sugarcane juice he squeezed in. I think some calamansi as well. For that citrus, that citrus touch to balance the sugar. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, that hits the spot. Sweet, but not overly sweet. So pure. Has a, I love that, I mean, I love it with that contrast of that squeeze of calamansi to, to bring out the flavor. That acidity to break the sugar. Mm. Great, refreshing. This is necessary when you're eating at a food court in Singapore. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Are you sure, can I, can I pay though? Oh, no, it's okay. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, oh, it's so nice. He wanted to give us this drink and he would not accept payment. So again, they're called Chifa Drinks Corner. All right, let's move on. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Fantastic place. Teka Center is a must when you're in Singapore. Oh man, there's... The variety is astounding, but we are moving on from here for another big meal. I think it's down, this street should be right down there. Next up on this Indian food tour in Singapore, we are going to a restaurant that serves the full banana leaf. It's a non-veg restaurant, so they have all sorts of meat dishes. It looks fantastic, it was recommended to me, and should be right down here. Uh, the restaurant is called Gandhi, and we are arriving just, they open right up at 11.30, I believe. We are getting here right as they, well, just a few minutes before they open, there's already a line outside the door. Get in line, and we'll immediately get a table, I think. They have quite a big takeaway section as well. Oh, smells incredible in here. Oh, 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 look at all that food. By the way, yeah, let's get the window right there. So we have some natural light. Oh, perfect. Have some natural light. Hello, oh, thank you. Well, served immediately. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh man, I love that. Sit down, within seconds, your banana leaf is delivered to your table. <laughs> oh, thank you, okay. Oh, yellow, what is the yellow rice? I'll have the yellow rice, please. Yellow rice. Oh, nice, and it all comes around. Yes, fish, please. What is this one? Onion chicken. Onion chicken? Oh, yes, please. Onion chicken, yes, please. Onion chicken, fish, or you want the small fishing? Mutton ying or? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So they had the option for white rice, but then they also said, asked if we wanted yellow rice. So I, I chose the yellow rice, which is like a biryani, but vegetarian biryani. 
Oh, it's so aromatic. You can smell the cardamom pods in there. I think there's some fennel. There's some cashews in there. So I got yellow rice, all the different vegetarian dishes, and then they come around with a tray of all the meat dishes that are on display at the front. Just piles of meat dishes, chicken fry with onions, fish, mutton. It's all there, it's all available. This place is popular, and man, does it look outstanding. Thank you. Bitter gourd, maybe bitter gourd, some cabbage, an achar, like a pickle. I, the thing that looks really good that caught my attention was the chicken fry with onions. We got mutton curry, we got fried fish all together. Oh man, this is the type of meal, one of my favorite meals on earth. So the yellow rice, I'm not totally sure why it's yellow, maybe the turmeric. Ooh, oh, that's hot, yeah. You can see cashews in the yellow rice though, there you can see all the, the spices in there. so fluffy and then just covered with that dal to make it starchy. The, the yellow rice is not too, not really strong in flavor, but maybe just a light, it's more, more of the aromatic spices, almost more like a pulao, uh, where it has the flavor of cardamom and fennel, but not really overpowering. I'll move into some of this cabbage. You can taste the mustard seed and the curry leaves in there. Other than that, it's quite mellow. It's, there's something a little bit starchy within the cabbage though too. Almost tastes like dal to make it starchy within the cabbage. I'm ready to move into that chicken. And to be honest with you, this looks like the type of chicken where the chicken will be good. But I think I'm more excited, much more excited about all those caramelized onions and curry leaves than the actual chicken itself. Look at that, that's just a, an entire handful of caramelized onions. Mm. So sweet. Oh man. Yeah, it's not even salty. That's just like pure caramel onions. The sweetness has just submerged. They're kind of gooey. So much flavor. And I'll try some of the fried fish, the fish fry. It looks like it's king mackerel. Yeah. It's not, I think not a lot of spice in there, but just maybe a masala paste before it's fried and then just the, the actual meatiness and the leanness of that king mackerel. It looks like it's bitter gourd. Oh yeah, the bitterness comes through, but it's not overpowering. That's just a pleasant bitterness that kind of mellows out in that sauce with the mustard seeds. And to be honest, I think I would have preferred this meal with white rice, white rice, and I think that's what would be more common. Because then you can really taste the flavors of the dishes more. Because the rice, I mean, kind of gets mumbled between all the different flavors. But I was just curious when they said yellow rice, so I had to try it. Okay, next up for the mutton curry. Of course, I'm here onto my rice. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, that is rich and thick. Mm. Okay, the mutton curry. Okay, that's the, the winner immediately. Oh man, the flavor of the clove in there, the curry leaves in, the bay leaves in there. It's not too oily, but it is rich, has a little bit of spice to it. But I think what just comes through is the flavor of the clove. Mainly clove is what I really taste in there. Also the tenderness of that mutton, you can just see as I break it in my fingertips, it just falls apart. Oh, look, you can just kind of squeeze it between your fingers. The tenderness of that mutton, the clove. the winning dish of lunch today. The mutton curry is awesome here. Oh man, and that's definitely the spiciest dish of the meal as well. I'll mix in with some of that, looks like a mango, I think it's a mango achar, mango pickle. Mm. 
Mm. That one's a little more sweet. Normally it's a little more sour and salty. Mm. Good too, but maybe it's a riper mango, but it has a sweetness to it for sure. Oh, I forgot to break into that papad, but you can smash, smash into your rice, into your bite for an extra texture, an extra component. Yeah. The mutton, that's the standout dish here. Yeah. It's all actually extremely good. Next up for the, I think this one is the rasam. And oftentimes I've had this in India where you can actually pour it into your, cup it into your hand and then slurp it from your, the palm of your hand. But here it's served in a cup. Mm. Oh, no matter how much you say you're gonna prepare for it. Like the sourness and jolt of spices and saltiness just always surprises you and wakes you up. Oh, I love the flavor of the curry leaves, the coriander in there tamarind making it sour possibly and then the mustard seed in there the onions dissolved in there man it's just a that just coats in case the curry and the rice had missed a little tiny section of your gums or mouth with spice and flavor the rasam is guaranteed to just coat everywhere in your mouth with flavor ah. oh that's healing Something like that. Final bite. Mm. Oh, a whole stick of cinnamon in there. And when you finish your meal, important to fold it over to signify your surrender, your completion. Oh, that was delicious. So satisfying. And just everything was good. But if you love mutton, I would highly recommend the mutton here that had just the right level of spice. So good, tender, and just warm and comforting. Oh man, I'm getting full. So again, they have all the food displayed at the front. A lot of people get takeaway here, it's very popular. But then once you eat, you come to the front over here to pay. I'm getting in line to pay now. Step outside. We got here right as they opened. I mean, it was already busy. There was a line going outside, but now come right at lunchtime. Man, it is packed. People waiting outside. They're especially doing a hugely popular takeaway. People like delivering huge tubs of the mutton curry, the biryani, the different dishes. Very popular place. Tamil Nadu, South Indian, non-veg. That was outstanding. And I am very happy and very full. But man, little India, Singapore. I mean, there's just no doubt some unbelievable Indian food. That completes this Indian food tour in Singapore's Little India. This, oh, I love walking the streets of Little India. There's so much action, it's so busy. I love the aromas, the people, the shopping, but especially the food. And there's an abundance of food, especially South Indian food, but you'll find North Indian food as well, food from every region of India. Uh, a fantastic place to come and explore when you're in Singapore. I'm full, I'm happy, and that's gonna complete this little food tour today. So I'll have all the information everywhere we ate in the description box below. Highly recommended everything we ate, especially what we ate for breakfast at Chapati stall and then Gandhi restaurant is also fantastic. And 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Singapore, and I will see you on the next video.